You like to eat, and you like to wrestle. Could there be a better job than being a sumo wrestler? But what is that life like? Is there more to it than just being big? This is your body on being a sumo wrestler for a day. Sumo wrestling goes back more than 2,000 years and was originally used to train soldiers. The wrestlers are called rukishi, which means powerful men. The outfits are known as mawashi and are made of one very long strip of silk that's wrapped multiple times. A mawashi can weigh four and a half kilograms. What would you have to do to be a sumo wrestler? And how punishing could it be? Okay, to get the full picture, you're going to do it for two days. One day of training and another in a tournament. 5 a.m. Your day starts at 5 a.m. You live in a sumo baya, a communal house with 14 other sumo wrestlers. As the lowest ranking rikishi, you are expected to cook, clean, and serve food to your fellow wrestlers. You are also the last to bathe and eat. But no food just yet. It's time to work out. You start the day with four to five hours of intense training. This involves drills like the Butsukari Geiko, where sumo wrestlers slam into each other in an attempt to push their opponent to the ground. By the end of it, you are black and blue. You'll collapse from exhaustion. 11 a.m. Finally, time to eat. After you serve everyone else, you can munch on whatever's left. Lunch is chenkanabi, a stew of fish, vegetables, meat, and tofu. This is served with five to 10 bowls of rice and lots of beer. All right. 12 p.m. After such a large meal, you'd think it would be more training to work off the calories and build up the muscles, but nope. Not for sumo wrestlers. Now it's time for a four hour nap. This is to slow your metabolism so you bulk up on fat. The average rikishi weighs about 181 kilograms. That weight isn't all fat. Sumo wrestlers are quite muscular underneath the fat. And it's not like the visceral fat that those suffering from obesity have. The intense exercise produces adiponectin, which sends the glucose and fat molecules underneath the skin instead of into the bloodstream and settling in the stomach. 4 p.m. Okay, more training and more bruising. Training always starts with stretching. A rikishi needs to be limber to try and avoid an opponent's attack. When you lose a training match, the winner will pull you around by your hair until you collapse. This is to toughen your spirit. 7 p.m. Okay, now that your spirit has been suitably toughened, it's time for more chenkanabi. After completing your daily intake of 20,000 calories, it's time for bed and dreams about food and practice. Tournament day. There are six tournaments in Japan every year, each lasting two weeks. Competitions are round robin and held in a ring called a doyo that sits atop a hard formed clay mound. Above the ring is a Shinto shrine roof, reflecting the sport's association with the Shinto religion. You throw salt into the ring to appease the evil spirits. Then you step into the ring and perform the shiko, the sumo stomp that is done to scare away demons, spirits of misfortune, and tricksters. Okay, the match begins. The goal is to force your opponent either out of the ring or to touch the ground with another part of the body apart from the soles of their feet. There are no punches or kicks, but you can slap, push, and throw your opponent. 
Your match is short. They usually only last a few seconds. On rare occasions, they might last one minute. Due to their diet and training regime, sumo wrestlers run a high risk of heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. They start training at the age of 15 and usually retire in their 30s. Okay, now that you've spent a day as a sumo wrestler, let's find out what would happen if you gained 300 pounds in one year. Whew. That sounds like a story for another episode of Your Body On.